What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. New experimental balance changes on live servers, hero pools coming to competitive Overwatch, as well as a number of other anti-cheat and quality of life changes in the very, very near future. All these were things that Jeff Kaplan talked about on the latest developer update video, so in this video I want to delve into my thoughts regarding each of the things Jeff talked about and how I see these actually impacting the game. So without further ado, Let's jump right on in. First up, the experimental card. Now, according to Jeff Kaplan, this is basically going to be a new game mode in a sense, where it's going to show up alongside quick play, competitive, and arcade. And the purpose of it is for them to be able to test out more experimental changes, things that we might typically see on the PTR, except that this time they're going to be on live servers, which means that it's easier for everyone to access and also allows console players to access them as well. This is fantastic. I think this is going to do a ton of great things for the game. Jeff Kaplan did say that they will be coming in the next few weeks, so they're not here just yet, but they are going to be here soon. And the things Jeff said we might see on this experimental play test card are hero balances and game mode changes, but certainly there could end up being other stuff as well. So it won't just be tweaking the damage on Reese's primary fire or something like that. There'll also be changes on how maybe maps end up capturing and into the different game modes, and to be honest, who knows what else. Jeff also mentioned that there will be a change in their balance philosophy, and that they're going to focus on changing things much more frequently, which we've already seen in the past two PTR updates, but they're also going to focus much harder on the meta. They're going to try to hit it hard, hit it where it hurts, to break apart the meta as frequently as possible. He specifically said they're going to get much more aggressive with it, and in turn become more open to the idea of reverse versions. So what I think this means is they're not going to hold back in giving devastating nerfs to whoever happens to be heading the meta, even if it ends up killing them, so to say, because they're just going to end up reverting it if they think it ends up being too extreme. Mainly, this is an effort to tackle the painfully slow balance process we've seen in the past and just try to force things to move much more quickly by basically just nerf sledgehammering everything that rises to the top. Now, yeah, I could see why some people might not like this. Your hero could get hit by some massive nerf sledgehammer and become basically unplayable for like a week or two. But at the same time, if they're going to be changing things things as frequently as they say they are, then it won't really matter because they'll probably bounce back just a week or two later. Jeff did also mention with regards to the experimental card that the changes we see on it won't necessarily end up going live to the quick play and competitive modes. And I think this is definitely going to tie in with their ideas to get more aggressive with the balance. They're going to make these devastating nerfs and maybe devastating buffs, if those are even a thing, in an effort to just force things to change much more frequently. And the experimental card, it sounds like, is going to be their effort to maybe catch some of those things while letting us also take part in the changes they're actually pushing through. But overall, it sounds like the game's balance is going to become a lot more chaotic, but in a way that's probably going to make the game feel better. Definitely less stale. Now, in a similar vein to this, Jeff also announced that starting with the next competitive season, Season 21, which will be starting in March, they're going to introduce weekly hero pools. Now, like what we've seen with the map hero pools in these most recent competitive seasons, certain Overwatch heroes won't be playable for a week at a time during the upcoming seasons. The example he gave is that one week Orisa, Sigma, May, and Moira might be banned from being played, which means nobody can select them for that entire week. Every week, the heroes that are banned or excluded from the pool are going to switch up, thus making it where every week there is essentially going to be a different meta. With the example he gave, getting rid of Orisa and Sigma will obviously kill the possibility for double barrier, but instead that week we might see a lot of dive comp being played. Then maybe the next week Winston and D.Va get banned and suddenly we see dive disappear and something else come for that week. This is actually going to do a really, really fantastic job of keeping the meta fluid, and at first I was a bit skeptical of it because it's basically hero based bands except Blizzard is the one controlling the bands instead of us. But looking at how they're implementing it and the fact that each ban period is only going to be for a week makes me think that 
this actually could be really interesting and is definitely something that like the higher end competitive player base is going to love because this means it's never going to get stale things are always going to be changing up and i think that's for the best again this is exclusive to competitive mode so if you're a casual like me who predominantly plays quick play these changes aren't even going to have an impact whatsoever jeff also said that they are incredibly open and willing to change things with this system as time goes on if they end up not liking the outcome which could include making the hero ban periods longer or shorter or switching up the amount of heroes that get banned each week various things like that also while jeff didn't specify how many heroes would end up being banned per week in the example he gave he listed four arisa sigma may and moira so i'm assuming that we're gonna see four heroes banned per week with maybe something of an effort in order to keep that spread out across the three different roles i mean if you just banned four tank heroes or four supports in any given week that would make those roles a, a real nightmare to play i think so i think they're probably going to make some effort to keep it sort of spread out so you don't get pigeonholed into playing like exclusively off tanks for an entire week but at the same time it's just a week so maybe that wouldn't even be that bad of a thing it would just be a fun little experiment people get to play around with it and then the next week it's gone and something else is there instead overall i am very intrigued to see how this ends up improving the game and I'm pretty optimistic for it even though it's not something that I'm really going to experience much since I mainly play quick play I'm hyped I'm excited to see what this ends up doing there were a few other things Jeff talked about he mentioned that new anti-cheat efforts are going to be coming within the next couple patches but was unable to specify how exactly there's a but was unable to specify how exactly those are going to work which makes sense because if they explain how the anti-cheat works then people can more easily work around it so it's nice to know that they're working on that still and maybe we'll see some improvement in the near future. Also, apparently a massive workshop update is going to be coming in the near future. Again, this is probably only really going to apply to the niche people who get into the workshop. I don't dabble too much in it anymore these days. I did back when it first came out, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into it more depending on what sort of changes they end up making for it. And last, there were some quality of life changes which are going to be coming, including improvements to the replay system, which allows you to pin replays which you want to hold on to as well as sharing specific replays which is going to be a great way to you know send your replay to your favorite youtube analyzer and they'll check out what you're doing right and wrong and give you some good feedback so i think that's going to be a fantastic change and additionally he mentioned some career profile overhauls which he didn't get too specific with but i strongly suspect it's going to have something to do with the like preferred role system which is something that people have been talking talking about a lot but has never come into existence maybe something that even lets you pick favorite heroes or at the very least maybe you can just see if someone's profile is private before clicking view profile for them i think that single change would probably be the most welcome out of all of these for profiles but we'll have to wait and see what the exact details actually are and the last but not least jeff did mention overwatch 2 he mentioned that there will be some ui changes for the career profiles in Overwatch 2, but that those are way down the pipeline. Now, it's not specific. It's definitely not Jeff outright saying it, but I absolutely think this was a subtle attempt from Jeff himself to try and dissuade the idea that Overwatch 2 is coming anytime in the near future. With the recent supposed leaks about it coming in 2020, people have been getting way, way too hyped for the idea of Overwatch 2 being something coming like within the next six months. That is absolutely not the case. And I wouldn't be surprised if Blizzard is panicking a bit at the idea that people are getting overhyped for Overwatch 2 so far in advance of when it's actually gonna release. So maybe Jeff was hinting that we shouldn't get too hyped for the sequel just yet, or maybe it was just him talking about career profiles but either way that stuck out to me and i'll be honest i wish they would just be a bit more open about the sequels with us either way though that wraps up all the news for this latest developer update i'm hyped for these changes i think the experimental card and hero pools are actually going to do a lot of good for the game hopefully reinvigorate some interest and enthusiasm for overwatch overall since it's been kind of dwindling lately and that's really just sort of a shame but definitely let me know your thoughts about these new changes by dropping a comment down 
down below. Are you excited to see hero pools added to competitive? Or maybe you're more interested in getting to try out some experimental stuff. Either way, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. This is Master EM Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.